Uh, beautiful day here in Los Angeles. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna make some pizza. I have a good friend. He wants to step up his pizza game, and I will do my best to make it happen. So come on, let's go. Yo, what's up? Oh man, what's up, brother? How's it going? I'm ready. I'm ready to make some pizza. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm good. We're gonna unlock it. We're, we're here to do it. I'm so excited to unlock my inner pizziolo. <laughs> let's do this. Let's do it, baby. Come on, man. Chris, thanks so much for coming here. <laughs> Come on, man. Thanks for having me, bro. All right, so let me tell you the deal. I'm in. So I, I make pizza at home every now and then. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a, a small pizza oven outside, and my pizzas are pretty good, but I want to get better at my dough. I really want to learn how to make from you so I can learn the feel and kind of just do this by instinct. So well, I think, I think the instinct part is the biggest X factor, and that's the hardest thing. I mean, I did this little book, and I tried to do a real simple book so people could start, but... It's just like, if you want to play music, you know, you want to play guitar, I mean, you got to play. I yeah. Mean, you got to listen to music. Repetition is the father Repetition. of success. There you go. Lil Wayne, he there said that. There you go. That. That's good. I, I think, he, I, I, I don't I'll know if he it. made that I'll up or it. he was quoting. I'll but. buy it. I'm buying it. You're selling it. I'm yeah. buying it. All right. All right, Boom. let's make this dough. Make so we have, dough. we have the flour here. So uh, we got, what's, what's our first step? Okay, first step is we got about uh, beautiful. Two, two cups of water. Two cups of beautiful Los Angeles filtered tap water. Mm -hmm. We're going to take about, say, whatever, three quarters of that or so. Add it in. So you just leave a little bit. You just leave a little bit because we're going to add our, our organic yeast in. And so this is just kind of just letting yeah. the yeast yeah, chill we're just, a bit. We're just letting that chill, kind of letting it, letting it get started. If, if, if time was 100% was, was not a factor, we'd probably let this sit here for about maybe 20 minutes or so. Starts and bubbling. Just, yeah, just, you know, pr the proving part, proving yeast is just proving this is, is working. Okay. <laughs> it's proving it's alive. <laughs> and then we're just going to take our flour and we're just going to add it slowly. We've added about, let's say, three quarters of that or so. Same thing. We're going to let this kind of come together. And while that's proving, you know, if you kind of let this just stay and just chill out and kind of come together and let the absorption happen, I just find that it leads to just a better, more balanced dough, better structure, and uh, it just be easier for you to work with. It's very wet. And yeah. It's, uh, uh, yeah. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is, is now this has been hanging out bubbly for about, 20 minutes just said we're just gonna pour that little slurry right on top, getting all of it here. And we're just gonna kinda knead that in now. Get some of the flour that we've got in our bowl already. Some of the dry flour. Because I'm telling you, like I don't care what I, anybody writes down in the book, you gotta stop when it's done. Like, you gotta like, know the feel. Like like I'm telling you, I've had like like massive differences in in measurements. Well, like depending on the varietal flour or how fresh it was or how much water. None it of took. these things are constant. Yeah, so I mean you, gotta know how to, you know how what's to always constant is like your feel, feel and your and your eye and you trust it and so let's okay, see how this so feels it's, now. It's, it feels wet. It feels tacky. It feels, it feels like biscuit dough. Yeah, or something. Yeah, it feels it feels wet. It feels tacky. Okay. So this time, like now, it's chilling out. We waited like 20 minutes for it to just chill out. We've got our yeast in already. Now we can throw the salt in. A little salt. Salt right yeah, here. Boom, just boom right in there. Pop it all in. Yeah, just pop it in. Okay. And now I just can kind of grab it in. And let's feel this texture. So let's now. feel it. We're gonna put it on the board now. So this one kind of gets kind of gets fun, you know. And so you're grabbing it. a fist and then you're pushing it yeah, out. Yeah, if you're like slow. Grabbing and pushing. All right, can I try this yeah, real quick? Yeah, come on, All right, bro. So grabbing and then pushing. Grabbing, pushing. How's this technique? Am I? Am I? Bro, able? you're in. So so it doesn't need that much. You don't have to mess with it that much. But I'd say like like eight minutes on the board. That looks a thousand times cooler than what I was doing. No, come on, man, come on. Yeah, but you see, see, you see my monologue. It's <laughs> it's terrible. It's, I struggle with it. Very terrible. You know, and you kind of clean up your little bench, clean your fingers. But I mean, it's like, so it's coming off, you know. That's a good the, test. So, so now, now what we're going to do, do we're going to tuck it. We were tucking in for the night. Read it a bedtime story. Read it a little bedtime story. And like I said, there's no sugar in the dough, there's no oil in the dough. But we'll give it, when we tuck it away for the night, we'll give it a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just, so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Yeah, it doesn't stick to the bottom. And it doesn't create a skin on the outside. We'll, and it will cover it in plastic. We'll put it in a bigger. Oh, then it won't have those little spots. Yeah, and stuff little, on the it outside. won't get like. And it, like I said, if it gets the skin on it, the biggest thing is inhibiting it from rising. You know, plus it gets crusty and funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's there. I've, I've made it's those super mistakes happy. in the past. And we'll just cover it with plastic. We'll probably get a bigger bowl. God, that good. olive oil smells good. It's good. It's good stuff. It's good, man. It tells everything. Like people, some people will say, like, oh man, why would you waste that good oil on, on something that probably won't impose that much flavor? But 
I think it all matters. And So Chris, now what we're gonna do is we leave this out in room temp for about an hour and then we put it in the fridge. Do we cover it with like saran wrap and put it in the fridge for about That's 24 it, hours? That's it, just let it chill, like I said. You and can... this will just rise? Yeah, okay, All right, good. so now you made some dough um, I made some dough yesterday. Classic yeah. cooking video yeah. show technique. Boom. So this was that. This was that. It was out for an hour, room temp, and then you put yeah. it in the fridge for a day. And it's, 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 it's expanded quite a bit. This is kind of cool because you can see in there like what's kind of going on. Like, like inside, if you cut that, like cut the crust open later, that's where you want to see that mm. aeration and all that work that it's done is as much as possible. You know, when it gets to that, after we roll into our little balls that we're going to do now. So now you have a dough that you've already kind of done this process with. You, right. you left it out uh, at room temp for an hour and then it's been in the fridge covered for a day. And now we have this. Right. And this is very wet. It's way bigger. Right. But if we knock it back down, like if I knocked it all the way back. Whoa. You know, beautiful. like now feel it. You know, now well, it's like wow, I Wow, this is such an interesting texture. This feels like, I don't know, like a fake breast. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. We wouldn't know. <laughs> We're so it's purist. We wouldn't know any of that stuff. Anyway, <laughs> we, we, if we were weighing these out, they're like 220 grams. For, for there'll be a 12 ounce ball. So just say that's about it right there. Just take them between both your hands, go slow for some. time, just, and so you just kind of, your palms up, like this is a basic technique. Kind of your palms up, so you're like pushing it. You're just kind of pushing it up. Oh, I'm so doing what you're doing. You're doing what I'm doing. You're doing even better. And, and meanwhile, like you don't want it to be like, I'll do a bad one. Just like, where like, like if you were doing this, you go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my pizza, I'm gonna ball my pizza dough up and you're like, and you're like, oh, I got lots of I like this character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the guy's like, my pizza. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's good. Well, now you got this funky seam in the bottom. Don't like that. Yeah, don't like that. So, cause like, it'll be, it's, it'll be uneven when you stretch it out. It won't be thicker than thinner. So in this thing, you always want just everything to be uniform. Okay, so the doughs that we made into the balls, they rested at room temp in this guy. And uh, now they're ready to go. They're ready to go. But you wanna make some sauce first? Yes, look, we need oh, some sauce. Do some sauce, it's super oh. simple. What's really great about these tomatoes, or any great tomato, is they come from good dirt, they come from good earth. But okay. either way, you taste them how they taste to you, groovy. But for my sauce, all I do is this, real simple. A couple of basil leaves, and we're just gonna- Go to your farmer's market, get yeah, some yeah, fresh yeah. basil, it or, smells or just, so good, it makes such a big or difference. Or just like, it's, it's, it's a beautiful oh, thing. Oh, that basil smells so, good! And we're gonna take a little bit of- uh, Just kinda look, that looks like the right amount. Yeah, so we're taking a little bit, like a three count, whatever. So you know? three swirls. Yeah, three hex swirls. I think I wrote it down in the book, but- All right, so we're ready to- to, to uh, stretch out the dough. Yeah, let's, let's do it. And again, also I want to be clear, I don't mean it feels like a fake breast, like hard and weird. It, it feels like what you imagine like those implants feel like. You know what I mean? I do, I imagine. I imagine I that those silicone implants feel like this. Yeah. So like if you put this in your shirt, it'd be like you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, feel, it kind of feels like, yeah, it feels like that. Okay, so I'll, I'll roll one out first. I mean, it was it's pressed out, so at this point, Okay. So all you're doing, like, if you did nothing else, if we didn't touch this thing and just gravity took it, we get it to where it wants to be. One, two, I mean, we're done. So anyway, we're gonna make a pizza real quick, okay? We're gonna make a marinara. All right. Okay. The simplest one that you can make in the world, you know, named after like the marinara, like the, 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 the Navy, they, the guys they got to see, and they'd have some, you know, maybe some canned tomato. Mari. Yeah. Water. Yeah, they'd have some canned tomatoes, some dried oregano, and maybe some garlic, and they'd make a little bit of sauce. So this was like their sauce. And we always say like, you know, you, you just kind of put a fat thumb to the edge, like, so you don't take it too far, very cross, okay. Boom. Next thing. So here we have a very cool contraption where if you're gonna make marinara, you kind of need this. This is a, a garlic mm -hmm. mandolin to slice the garlic very thin. I, I've tried to slice it by hand and, and couldn't get thin enough. They're almost. harder to find, but they're only like six bucks in there. They're, they're, they're super cool. So there's a couple of cloves in there just, just till you're done, but. Look at those thin slices, incredible. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of that oregano, give it a little bit of a rub and put on ah. marinara. That's about all we need. This one is maybe the only pizza that I do with, uh, with, with oil before and after, so a little bit. Before and after. Yeah. I think it's real basic, I've used this cheese or whatever, I kind of put things where they're not in this case, you know, like, like whether it's oil, like a little lighter spot, like try to make a little valley of flavor, like or. A valley of flavor. I like that, a valley of flavor. Mm. All right, this special. looks beautiful. Let's do it. Let's Are we ready to in. fire this? Let's go. Shake and bake. Let's, Let's go. Cool. All right, so we have a pizza oven here. We do. And it's time to 
fire this up. All right. All right. Happy days. People ask all the time, like, how long does it take to cook? And well, as soon as it's done, it's ready. Depends. So, it's not like, oh, we. So this cook. one, we'll see. We'll see how hot it is. I'm guessing. Do we measure the temp before we threw it in? You know how hot it was? You know, I didn't, I didn't measure. It's about 600 right there. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's groovy. Yeah. Like super hot on the edge. Okay, we're cool. We're ready. Looks like Roof. it's good. I eat that. That All looks right. great. Yeah. All right. I dig it. I'm digging it. First oven made in this oven. We're checking out. It looks that good. That looks nice. It looks nice. Nothing sliding around. Pretty happy. We'll adjust the fire so we don't get that super char there. Like, I don't mind that little char, that little kiss there, but uh, we'll adjust the coals on that. But I like our chances. I think it'll be all right. Uh, let's hit it with a little sea salt. And uh, boom, let me, let me get one for you. It's got something going on there. There you go, brother. First one of the and day. The, and just look at the crust right here. You can see on the side, like the structure, like the little. It's all right. It was great. Cheers.